and welcome back to LSJ TV. Drop it a like if you enjoyed that. Or if you're creeped out, same thing. I've been waiting a year, over a year to try these. I can't keep that up, it's freaking ridiculous. Energy has evolved 3D drinks, Liberty Pop, supposed to taste just like that little popsicle, Liberty Popsicle that you can get um, only in the US though, it's not really a thing in the UK, but these um, have been the most anticipated drink that 3D have released thus far. I'm gonna put a couple of them in the fridge and we will see how it goes. I'll let you know a little bit later. For now though, drop this one a like, let's get it going. Hello. I know I said I was going to try the 3D, but um, I needed to leave the house before it was cold enough, so we have a ghost energy going down in the sour watermelon flavour. I'm actually going to get my hair cut now. It's been a minute, so I need another one. Need a new one, need a fresh one. So, over to Nottingham we go. My old man actually bought me this. Um, I would be trying it, but I don't plan on going anywhere in the car with this big new lens on. Um, but this is just like a slip mat so that I can put, I've tried to rip into it, can you tell? <laughs> um, so I can just put my camera on it and hopefully it won't slip. But I actually have this massive lens on it right now, um, which is a good, like, it's like the size of a Coke can, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna put that on my dashboard. If I have my smaller lens, I will try it. But if I'm ever using this lens, nah. Not driving and vlogging with this. Walking and vlogging, yeah, 100%. Workout edits, yeah, 100%. Vlogging in the car, nah, I need uh, I need that other lens. So, hat is coming off, I've just had a shower, so my hair is a bit like all over the place, but here is the before. And now it looks like this. Well, I mean, this is the following morning and there's no product in it or anything like that. Fantastic way in this morning. Have a guess what you thought it was. For the meantime, oh, oh. Charlotte is actually here right now because it smells fantastic. Hmm. Cherry, I'm getting cherry. I like cherry, that's all good. Charlotte's here because we're actually having a, a talk, right? A little talk, Charlotte works for a pretty cool company and um, my mate Ben Francis is actually doing a speech in a minute, isn't he babe? So he's, uh, he's actually just gonna do a speech just to directly address me and everything that I'm doing and how amazing it's been and all that kind of stuff. So, looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Ben. I'll tell you what, I'll go back to even before Gymshark started. So, I went to school in Bromsgrove, which I'm sure if you're all from the Midlands, uh, the vast majority of you will have heard of. Yeah. Went to a school called South. Um, and to be honest, I actually wasn't a massive fan of what a lovely room. Um, I don't know why, I, I think I was just probably had interest elsewhere, sort of, you know, gaming and football and villa and all that sort of stuff. On the first day of the uh, IT lesson, the, the teacher, who was a, one of the best teachers I ever had, um, basically put an old sort of 1995, I think it was, Windows computer in front of all of us, and it was locked, and basically the task was to get into the computer. And for the first time in my life, I wasn't being judged based on a exam, but I was being judged on practical application of skills, and I could go off and problem solve, and I could, you know, try and approach the problem from a bunch of different angles. And for me, that was one of the coolest, most exciting things that I could ever, ever do. And that's part of my interest in sort of computing. So with that, I learned how to sort of develop iPhone apps and websites and so on and so on. <laughs>
I'm cutting. Okay? This is a cutting meal. So, Charlotte, I'm gonna have her first ever legend bowl, right? Which means, Lucky Charms and Marshmallow cereal milk. Don't drop it. Are you excited? Not really. I'm excited for you. I'm excited to eat Lucky Charms. I'm not sure about this. Oh, that had some good Lucky Charms in it. Yeah. Get some good bits Not in too there. much. I don't want a thousand calories of Lucky Charms. It's 100, <coughs> 130 a scoop. Fat. Fat. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, you dear. It's been a while since we had a 40 will do, won't it? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's alright. Top. With. The protein. I'm not sure how I feel about this. For anyone that knows me, I don't actually like milk or wet cereal. I have my cereal dry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like it. Oh, it's soggy. Oh, that's good. Mm. Well. That is so sweet. It's nice though, isn't it? Just boring old oats for me though. <laughs> Only joking, these taste amazing because it's golden syrup flavor from my protein. Did I mention I have a discount code? I actually had a few Lucky Charms as well, so I've had 40 grams instead of 60 grams a day just to, just to compensate a little bit, you know? Same, same, still got the OJ though. Right, everyone, I've got some good news, okay? So, long story short, um, I've just spent about the past 30, 35 minutes doing a lot of flexibility work, a lot of stretching, um, and just, yeah, just kind of preparing my body to not do an awful lot. Um, done a few bicep curls and stuff. <laughs> Went on the bike for five to 10 minutes. I think it was like seven, eight minutes. I didn't even bother putting it on my friggin' watch. It was that little amount of time. But since then, I have implemented supported lunges, okay? so. Pulling this right up, this is here just for a bit of a safety blanket. It's not really doing much, it's just keeping the joint warm. But, okay, if I lunge forward, like so, one hand on the wall. Siri, here. Siri ruining my videos, that's per. One hand on the wall, one hand on the chair, coming down and back up. That, ladies and gentlemen, look at my leg shaking. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but my quad. All the fibres, all of the muscles in the quad are just shaking like crazy because it has not had any support, not had any weight through it for over a month now. And this is as good as it has gotten and I feel super, super good. I feel really happy about this. Literally that is about eight reps, something like that. Um, and I've done that three times now. That was the third time. And I just feel... I tell, I tell you what guys, it was genuinely, it, it was really getting me down. I like to think I'm a very positive person, right? I'm really, I, I like to think I'm very upbeat. I see the bright side of things all the time and stuff, but I was really, really struggling to see the bright side of this injury, right? Because I would understand more so if I knew what did it, but I just woke up one day in friggin' agony. You know, there was no pop when I was training, there was no bang, there was no, oh shit, I've pulled a muscle, oh shit, I've torn something. The physio confirmed it wasn't a tear. It was just inflamed and there was no real explanation for it, you know? So I feel really, really good. It's been over a month now and that is the most I've done on my leg. I'm gonna give it a couple of days to recover now um, and then try and repeat the same again um, in a couple of days. But I just felt, I, I just had to. It doesn't go with the flow of the video or anything, but I just had to input it in there somewhere because I want to remember this. I want to remember this positive, upbeat feeling that I need to, you know, because it, it was, it was getting me down. Um, quite bad to be honest I was just sat down like you know unable to do much but we're on the mend people we are on the mend yes <laughs> okay you ready today ladies and gentlemen is a very special day because it is the 25th of September 2020 that might mean nothing to you but to us it's a very special day we started uni on the 25th of September 2015, i.e. the first day we ever met. Why are you looking at me like that? Poor me. And here we are five years later, <laughs> celebrating. If you are an OG of the channel, you know what this is. This is my celebratory vodka from Krakow. Do you want the, the pink egg, what's it called? Egg cup? Yes. Or the purple egg cup? Pink. 
There you go. I'm pink. Okie dokie. Just looks like a Werther's. It's grim, isn't it? It tastes amazing, though. Look, actually, it looks like a cup of tea. Yeah, it does. It looks like tea. It looks like milky tea. Salted caramel vodka from Krakow. Cheers. Happy know each other anniversary. Ugh. I'm also having a little cheesecake. This is like 377 calories, babe. I honestly thought that it would be worse than that. Charlotte's got a bit of ice cream and we are watching Mamma Mia, which she has begged me to watch for the past five years. And play. Top quality entertainment. 20 minutes later. Defeated you won the war. Waterloo. Now we can forevermore. It's a really good film, babe. Mamma Mia 2 now. Don't worry everybody, I wasn't forced to watch Mamma Mia 2. It got far too late on in the day, you know, and we just had to go to sleep, so shame. Maybe another time though. <laughs> on a serious note though, it was a half decent film. I, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of musicals, right, on the basis that they don't make sense, right? And people are going to seriously really, really disagree with this, and I, and I get that, right? But scenes and times and things and just when you break out into song, it just, it doesn't make any sense, okay? <laughs> And it made sense. It was actually crafted very well around the songs until like the last 45 minutes where it just got rubbish. If you love Mamma Mia, please don't unsubscribe. Please like the video. I still love you and I hope you still love me, but it was a bit naff. It was nice to watch it because she has been desperate to watch it with me for the past like five years. But anyway, that is a little update on training, uh, on my diet, on everything, and in particular with the knee. Uh, I will hopefully at some stage, I haven't actually mentioned this to him, but I would like to go in and film a session with him just to kind of get a bit of more explanation as to what the hell went on because long story short, it was inflamed, but that's all that I can really tell you. You know, I'm, I'm not a physio. But then at the same time, it's not rocket science. I just have to rest it, but just for longer than I expected, which is just unfortunate. But anyway, quick tip, if you remember a few minutes back into the video when I had a few lucky charms, I didn't measure that, so I just took 20 grams, which is like 30% of the macros off of my porridge. Just kind of decreased my, my calories for then, which is generally speaking what I've actually had to do because I can't exercise because of my knee as intensely as much. Can't do my warts, I can't do my cardio properly, I can't train legs twice a week, so I'm missing out on a good four, five, six extra exercise sessions, whether it's just a walk or just a cardio session or leg session, I'm missing out on a lot. So I've had to decrease my calories, uh, but we are still finding room for things like the oat base. This is actually the last one in my packet before the end of the month, but it's just like the 28th or whatever now, so it's all good. But that, ladies and gentlemen, for today is that. I hope you have enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this one. I really did. It was quite a lot of fun. So if you have enjoyed it, it takes two seconds, costs you nothing, really, really helps the channel out. Build our momentum and drop this video a like. Thank you so much. Let's try and smash 60, 70, 80, 90 out the frigging park on this video. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for all your support on the LSJ Media stuff. Go and follow that page, Media by LSJ, if you have not already. Thank you so much for supporting your boy. I appreciate you. Together we will grow and I will see you in the next one. I just wanna die, yeah.